determine the configuration at this stereo center. Let's put an asterisk in so we can see where the stereo center is. This is a stereo center because it's attached to four different groups. There's a methyl group over here. There's a hidden hydrogen. You might as well go ahead right now and draw in the hidden hydrogen because we're going to need that eventually anyway. You always need to draw in the hidden hydrogen if there is one at a stereo center. And then if we go counterclockwise around the ring, we're going to encounter a different path than if we um, went clockwise. Uh, if we go clockwise, the first thing we encounter is a CH2 group. But if we go counterclockwise, the first thing we encounter is a double bonded carbon. So these two paths would count as two different groups, and this is a stereo center. Let's put dots in for the attached atoms. Clearly the hydrogen is the number four priority. And then we have three carbons that are all tied. Well, this carbon is attached to three hidden hydrogens. This carbon is attached to a carbon and then two hidden hydrogens. And this carbon is double bonded to a carbon. That counts as two separate carbons. And then there must be one hidden hydrogen. If you have any trouble making these lists, go ahead and draw in the hidden hydrogens. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and draw in those hidden hydrogens right now, just for the heck of it. This is a methyl group, so we can write it like this. Here's the two hidden hydrogens on this carbon, so now it has four bonds total. And this carbon, we can see three bonds, so to get it up to four bonds, there must be one hidden hydrogen. And now you can confirm, if you were unsure before, that these lists are correct for the three atoms that each of the dotted atoms is connected to. Well, of these lists, clearly this list of all hydrogens is the bottom priority, so that'll be number three. And then the first point of difference between the other two lists is that the second atom, this hydrogen, is inferior to this carbon. So up here on top, we get the number one priority. And down here, we get the number two priority. Now, as usual, since we're done with the priorities, we can erase the work. Now we have to decide what case we're in. Well, the number four priority is on the wedge, so the number four priority is not pointing into the page. Not pointing into the page, that's when we need our case two three-step method. We have to start by swapping the number four so that it is pointing into the page. So we're forced to swap the number four with the number three. Step two, what's the configuration of one to two to three on the page? counterclockwise, which is S. So step three, before the swap, the correct configuration must have been R. The answer is R. The stereo center is an R stereo center. Once again, we see how flexible our method is. Um, it works for both straight chain and for cyclic molecules. Let's determine the configuration of this stereo center. Fluorine gets the number one priority, oxygen gets the number two priority, the carbons are tied, this carbon is double bonded to a carbon, that counts as two carbons, and there's a hidden hydrogen, which you can draw in if you like. The carbon on the left is bonded to a carbon, so there must be two hidden hydrogens, which again you can draw in if you like. The first point of difference is that the second atom in the list where this carbon beats the hydrogen on the left. So the right hand group is our number three priority, and the left-hand group is our number four priority. And now we'll erase our work. Which case are we in? Well, the number four here is on the solid line, which means that it's pointing in the plane of the page. 
Well, if the number four is in the plane of the page, then it's not pointing into the page. So we have to use our three-step method. We have to swap the number four with the group that is pointing into the page. And again, you can see that it's convenient that when we do the swap, we can just swap the numbers without redrawing the molecule, because it would be kind of a pain if we had to actually swap this whole CH2 group that's part of the ring and put it up here and put the OH group down here. But no, we can just swap the numbers. Now step two, what's the configuration of one to two to three on the page? One to two, two to three, back to one. That's S for counterclockwise. So step three, the original configuration before the swap was R. The correct answer is R. Again, I'll remind you of the notation that I find useful to avoid careless mistakes. It's a good idea to actually write down the original priority numbers and then cross out the priority numbers that you're swapping and write in the new numbers. And it's a good idea when you do step two to actually write down the original letter and then cross it out and write down the new letter from step three. If you try to do this process in your head, I find that oftentimes people make careless mistakes. So it's worth the time to write down a letter, cross it out, and write down the new letter, at least until you've gotten so good at this that you don't make careless mistakes anymore. Again, the one thing that you probably don't need to do is draw in the arrows that show that we started off counterclockwise on the page. Try this problem. Determine whether it's R or S. Put dots on the directly connected atoms, the atoms that are directly connected to the stereo center. Now we're back to working with a Fisher projection. We can tell this is a Fisher projection because we have a horizontal and a vertical line intersecting with no indication of dashes or wedges. We have a four-way tie. This carbon is triple bonded to a carbon. We treat that as three separate carbons. On the bottom, this carbon is bonded to two carbons and a hydrogen. Remember to write them from best to worst, carbon, carbon, hydrogen. On the left, the carbon is attached to a carbon and two hydrogens. And on top, this carbon is double bonded to an oxygen, which we treat as two oxygens and a hydrogen. The first atom in this list, the oxygen, is better than the first atoms in all the other lists. So the top group gets the number one priority. The second atom in this list is inferior to the second atom in this list, a carbon, and the second atom in this list, a carbon. So this left-hand group gets the bottom number four priority. And then the third atom in this list, the carbon, is superior to the third atom in this list, the hydrogen. So the right-hand group gets our number two priority, and the bottom group gets the number three priority. Let's erase the work that we did. Number four priority is pointing towards us on the horizontal line, which the horizontal line we know in a Fisher projection is a wedge. So we need to start by swapping it so it's pointing away from us. We could swap the number four with either the one or the three, since those are both on the vertical line. Let's swap the number four with the number one. Now step two, the configuration of one to two to three on the page is clockwise for R. But step three, before the swap, the original configuration must have been S. So the correct answer is that the stereocenter is an S configuration. 